Welcome to KCB Outdoors. I got one. There you go. Oh, it's a big one. What'd you get him on? Black and red. Yeah. Is it a good one? You help? Thanks for, is that recording? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. It's not bad. There you go. All right, guys. I know we never do a good job explaining anything. Josh, you can adjust the boat and whatever and get casting. So I just caught this guy right here on a wacky rig. I had a perfect hook set right in the top of the darn mouth right there. Um, little pounder, maybe less. And uh, just on a generic wacky rig. Right off the bank, he just bump bumped it and boom. It was my first fish on Josh and Jake's new boat, so... Heck yeah! Good job. Yeah. Alright guys, got another one on the wacky rig. About the same size, I think. Yeah. Uh, Maybe a little bit bigger. I can't tell. It's probably about the same size, though. Josh? Better time away. Yeah, I think I'm better. Alright, I barely even had him hooked at all. Same same sort of thing. wacky rig. Uh, probably about, they're probably about the same size. Could be the same fish. Who knows? We'll take it though. Oh. We go again, folks. Again? That's uh, two in back-to-back -back casts. Hooked this guy in the bottom lip. Lost my wacky worm, of course. And he's still a little bit fired up, so why don't you just chill out, dude? I'm gonna unhook your ass, your butt. I'm sorry, kid-friendly YouTube channel. All right, so that's three for me. You got one? Oh, it's a big one. You got no, a big one? No, it's not. I don't have it. Is it a fish? Yeah. <laughs> Huge, guys. If you watched our last video, uh, Josh made a very valid point. Oh, dude. Bald. This dude's one eyed fish now. Josh says every time I catch a fish, I go, oh, giant. Yeah. There's one finally. Yeah, uh, no, it's just deep. Man, pounder. Huh? He's not bad. My first fish of the day. Thank you, Lord. Trying something a little different today. But there's our first one. Maybe we can get another one. Thank you. All right, guys. What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to head under that culvert right there. There's a small area on the other side of the lake over there. Um, in our last video, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. We absolutely wore them out on that side, and that's been about two weeks. So I'm hoping they're still over there. Uh, there's really only one way in and one way out over there, and that's through this culvert right here. So uh, we're going to head over there right now and see if we can get on. So far, I've caught four, and Josh has caught one, but I bet that's about to change a whole lot going over here. So we'll see you guys just here in a second. All right, guys. So as you can see, we're about to go into the pipe here. Got to raise the, I already raised the tow motor up pretty good. There's fish busting in the pipe, believe it or not. We just wanted to show you guys what we're talking about. Some of y'all may have never been here. What it is is uh, First Baptist Church of Canton's up here. Great Sky's up here. And this is just a little road going under here. A good pocket under here. We caught so many fish under here. But this is kind of a cool 
just a uh, view right here going under this pipe. As some of y'all may not have ever seen this. So here we go. Hopefully I got the motor high enough. Or high enough. Y'all may see a just total catastrophe here in a second. But this is always pretty cool to see. A lot of people have never seen this. One of those brim? Yeah, there's thousands of brim under here. Yeah, you can see them. Wow. Yeah, you can see them. Oh, there's a little bass actually. Some of them are brim. We've always done good here. We need to come brim fish here. Y'all probably having a hard time hearing me because I've got the motor set up on. Because as you can see, we're inside of a uh, structure here. You see, we're going towards a lot. Okay, they say not to go towards a lot unless you're ready to. But hey, we're ready to. We're ready to get on these fish. And here we are. I'm going to switch to the chesty and we will get back to you. You got one? That quick, huh? <laughs> that quick. Is that your first cast over here? Third. Oh. I don't know why, but this spot is freaking oh. killer. It's just a good spot. Now I've got a five bass limit that I would have personally placed in that tournament that was fished here. Caught five bass, about three seven. All right. Have they caught any? He's caught one on a shaky hand. You got another one? Dang, Preston. Good one? All right. 3.8 pounds now. Five bass, 3.8 pounds. Good job. We'll get bigger. Oh, dude. You got one? Yeah. Oh, it's a big one. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. Can you help? I'd like to fight this bitch. Don't lose it. Is it big? Uh, it's bigger than any I've caught before today. I gotta make a worm change. This is huge. No. That's a good one. He just got a big wide mouth on it. Yeah. You're yeah, on. I hate these lily pads. Hey, absolutely. You see my line jump? I hope that got on camera. Yeah. I hope you can see the line jumping. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, he's a bad, he's okay. He's not bad. He absolutely, oh, he about got it good too. Perfect hook set. Oh, man. He wanted it. I'm telling you. He wanted the, he wanted the Gary. Unreal how he hit that thing. Right before you get to the lily pads. These lily pads are really choking us out here, but we're making an effort. 
<laughs> you got one? Tighten your drag up, you ain't pulling no line. This guy, I think we probably caught him last time. He got a hole right in the side of his mouth. Really? Yeah. Somebody caught him before. That's the last one. Summer 8. No. Sick. Preston, what do you have? Dang 10 lily pads. That's only number three for me. Preston's caught like every fish in the lake. Number three for me, a little guy on the Zoom finesse worm. What is the problem here? I really just wanted to know who came up with the show idea of pit bulls and parolees. I want to talk to that person. You know? <coughs> I want to come on, come up with the show. Dental hygienist and chows, you know? What? What do you mean? Well, I just caught a fish with you talking about that, so that was great. Oh my god. Little bitty guy here. This is literally the smallest bass I believe. All right. Easy, buddy. Sorry, Volt. There he is. I got a mouthful of sunflower seeds. Well, I mean, just a tiny little guy. Yeah, just a tiny little fella here. We'll count him, I guess. I mean, he bit a lure. How about that? How about that? All right, buddy. Where is he? Oh. Oh. Good fish. Get him up here. Boom. Dude, Easy. Dude I don't know. He's not huge, but he's big. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's, he's all right. About a pound and a half. <laughs> he fought pretty hard. About four pounds. <laughs> He just fought, he fought really hard. Yeah. God bless. Yeah. No, he was wrapped up. Huh? Yep. Got him, boys. That's number five for me. Fought for him. He's messed up. Wow. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. He got a turtle shell down here. I don't know what you call it. Look at that back on that guy. Wow. That's crazy. Let's get some pliers to him. That's a thick little guy. For his size, honestly. I got a giant. Oh, it's not a giant. It's on a drop shot, though. I keep this rod tricks me. <laughs> I thought that was a giant. <laughs> Folks, I made the transition to a drop shot. Jason, drop shot. And um, got a fish. I was getting whopped there. But that's the first one on drop shot. I thought he was big. I keep pressing Williams style later. Oh, pressing. Is that a tree? Oh, hit pressing. I was blinding himself. All right. Get back to you.